some ship talk here on DG360. Alien Week is upon us, and here we have the Gatak Raylan, which is a Xi'an cargo ship. We're going to look at the specs of the ship. The price of it is 220 200 with War Bond, so pretty affordable. I think the SCU is north of 300 so it can carry quite a bit. Uh, all very alien looking. Let us check out the, the moving parts and pieces here. It's a fucking transformer. Absolutely love this, the look of it, the design. Big fan of Xi'an design and tech, the, the, the grav tech. Always, always fun to look at any type of Xi'an ship out there. Hopefully it can take some punishment. Hopefully it can take some damage. And that's really what I'm looking at for this. 320 SCU says Limitless. Thank you so much. Uh, I really want to see the specs here. Let's check it out. Uh, we're reading here, Gatak's first foray into the human market. The Raylan is an elegant interspecies vessel, perfect for any human or Xi'an pilot looking for a safe, reliable solution for commercial-grade medium cargo hauling. Utilizing patented Gravlev technology and time-tested designs updated for 2951 and beyond, the Raylan is a prime example of why the Xi'an Empire is trusted House Gatak with production of its industrial vessels for centuries. Uh, disclaimer, there are current vehicle specifications. Some of these must change during the 3D design and game balancing process. All right, so <laughs> I love the looks of it. I, I'm pretty much a fan of any Xi'an ship, like really. Um, <clears throat> down here, this is the most important thing, and, and hopefully, by God, they've got these as correct as possible. Uh, turrets. It looks like we've got two mounted, uh, let's see, uh, br 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 size fours, size fours, two mounts. Um, size fours. Yeah, two size four. Whoosh, whoosh. All right, all right. And then on missiles, it looks like we have um, <clears throat> two size four racks with uh eight per rack wow so what are we talking about we're talking about 16 yeah we're talking about 16 missiles on that then oh my goodness look at that yeah we're gonna get to it all we're gonna get to it all we're just gonna get real deep and heavy on this and see if we really we really think it's worth it so far so good there we got two size three missile uh, launchers, uh, two size, yeah, two size threes, and then two per rack on that. Jesus, H on a pogo. The utility items, probably tractor beams. Yeah, okay, so two tractor beams on it. But what about what it can take po uh, power here? Oh, oh, nice. Two large coolers, two large shield generators. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. I like that. So it can take a bit of punishment. Can take a bit of punishment. Definitely digging that. For size comparison, here you can see it next to the Hercules. And it looks like the hull. Is that the hull A? It might be the hull A that I'm looking at. I'm not quite sure if that's the hull A. That probably is the hull A. But then we, we're seeing it uh, next to the Hercules. So this is, this is pretty fucking good size. This is pretty good size. Uh, and... Oof, there's some people that are speculating that in, I think it was two years ago when they were showing Squadron 42, that this ship that they were showing uh, was the interior or parts of the interior at the time of what was designed of um, the railing. I'm not quite sure. It's speculation. Some of the art. But let's check this out here. You can see I'm all up about the lighting. I'm all, that looks like. Uh, that looks like the back aft portion. It's very Tron looking. It's got like really nice like this is if this isn't it It's still Xi'an design and Xi'an tech 
And, you know, like, I'm telling you, like, just for the look of it, by God, man, it just feels like it's worth the dough just for the look of it. I love the way that they're moving parts in the ship. It's all very dynamic. I love the graph tech in it. I love the lighting. It's very sleek. Like, everything about the look of it to me is, like, completely alien, and I love it. Like, you can watch this uh, little demonstration they did on this particular Xion ship, whatever it is. This might be the Raylan. There's some speculation that it is, but like this, just watching this and seeing this is just fantastic for me. I, uh, I'm like I said, I'm very big into alien ships, very, very, very big into into alien ships. And Alien Week is this week, so you know I, I'm really happy about that. Wow, wow, yeah, I forgot about this. I haven't seen this in so long. I forgot. Woof. Oh my goodness. Foo, foo, uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, this isn't going to be a Banu Merchantman or anything, but, you know, for the price, it's over 300 SCU. Uh, it looks like it's going to be able to take some punishment with two shield generators. Um, and it's it's fairly big. It's it's about the size of the Hercules. So that, that was really interesting. Here's some more pictures. We can see it from the outside here. Uh, and you can see those front two struts come down underneath and they're the landing uh, gears, the landing uh, mechanisms that kind of lays on those. That's really cool. Love that design. Uh, we talked about this on the Inside Star Citizen review. Here is the uh, going into the bridge. The chairs are backed out. The chairs literally hang into the cockpit, literally like you're looking in, you know, like almost three dimensionally. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of viewable space. That's nice. I hate ships that have like a, a not a lot of viewable space. I, I would like some side windows there, but, you know, probably can't because the struts coming off the top and the bottom. Um, but hey. Here is, I'm not quite sure exactly where we're at here, uh, but it is very spacious. That is awesome. There's some missiles popping out. We went over the specs on the missiles. There's the aft section of the ship. Let's see if I can get a little bit more information here on the PDF file that I've got. Uh, and let's see if we can open that up in the screen here. Pepe, can we, can we get that going, dude? <laughs> Make it happen, Pepe. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, so a little bit more information here. Uh, Gatak, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, introducing Gatak Manufacturer. We went into the lore on the Inside Star Citizen review. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about the lore, we have that information uh, while we watch the Inside Star Citizen review. The interiors, more interior shots. Uh, uh, we, we, we were questioning the galley over there, the, the, the top right. They've got fermentation pods, the fam let me know, because apparently they poop and pee from the same hole. Really interesting information. You got a poop-pee combo from the same hole. Uh, and they don't eat anything that's cooked. It's all kind of fermented stuff, pickled stuff. So <laughs> this should be interesting. I'm not trying any of that. I will not eat any of that food. I'm just saying I'm not into that cuisine. Uh, and then they've got a scratch wall. Starlet, let me know that the thing, if you look at the bottom right picture, uh, there is a little section in the kind of living quarters that shows like a scratch wall, which is really kind of interesting. So there's some, there's some Xion elements to this uh, ship, which almost makes you think like, how does that incorporate it into anything? Or how is that going to be useful to you as a human? Almost makes me feel like maybe down the road, you know, they might accommodate the fact that maybe you can play as an alien. Nah, they won't. They've already said that they won't. But, man, I would really like that in the game. Just saying. I'm going to say that over and over again. <laughs> I'm going to say that over and over again. Uh, they, they're they showing the weapons there. Those turrets look fantastic. These these gimbal turrets right here. Like, looks like you can. Like, th this th th looks so goddamn cool. Yeah, it could be for Xion NPCs, right, right. Xion NPCs for now and later, you know, if they want to make it so that you can be an alien, okay, you know, I mean, okay, I know that they're not going to do it, but, you know, who knows, who knows. Um, So then, then the cargo pods, which was really interesting, and I think this is my only constructive criticism against the ship, is that I would, I, I kind of wanted the back end of this, like these cargo pods to be modular. I wanted to kind of have them pop off and pop on. I thought what would be cool as a pirate if I went after this ship and some of those pods just kind of like popped off as I was attacking it and then it went into quantum, but left behind was a couple of those pods. But that's just the pirate in me. That's just the yar. I was like, oh man, I kind of wanted these to be a little bit more modular. So like if I hit it in the right places, some of these like wonderful, sexy little pods would come off and I could, you know, I could gank the, the wonderful materials inside. They do. They do. Well, they said John Cruz said they were fixed. Uh, I don't know. Can we get, can we can we be sure about this? 
Can we be absolutely sure about this? Because John Crew on Inside Star Citizen said that the pods were fixed. And fixed usually means they cannot... Uh, okay, they do not come off. Thank you, Star. But yeah, yeah. See, that's what I was talking about. What I want them is, I, I literally want them to come off. I want these things to be modular. I, I want these to be modular in design where they come off and... Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Thank you, Star. Thank you, dude, for that backup. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's my only... <clears throat> That's my only, they don't come off. They don't come off limitless. They just, they just open up. And that's what I was trying to say. Like, I love these things to be modular. Like we could just take them off the ship and you could put them on the ground and load them up. Right, right. They're, they're fixed. Absolutely. So that's my only constructive criticism on that. We're, we're, you know, you guys weren't listening, were you? You guys weren't listening. I got you guys. I finally got you guys on Inside Star Citizen. Usually you guys are telling me. Now I'm telling you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this is cool. Look at the interior here. Oh, that's awesome. Let's zoom in on that. That that's really that I'm digging this. Let's check this out right here. See what I'm saying here, fam? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Let's let's zoom in on this right here. Oh, you got the cockpit, uh ship access and docking over there. <clears throat> you were listening, Star. You were listening. <laughs> uh, crew quarters, man turrets, uh, bathrooms down in the second section here. Wow, I really like the layout of this. This is kind of cool. Ship entrance down below. I think they really did a nice job with the layout on the ship. You know, I really like it. I love that grav lev lift there. I love how that elevator, we talked about how we felt like Aladdin and singing a whole new world and stuff and joking on the inside Star Citizen review about it. That was funny. Uh, but I definitely love the lift that they've got. I love the car to all and how the steps go up to the car to all. I'm going to love this. I'm going to love how that elevator just kind of floats down and you float right up into the ship. Absolutely love that. And that's the end right there, guys. And I'm going to tell you what, <clears throat> I honestly think it's worth the price. And I'm going to consider this uh, for the next giveaway. I think I'm going to throw this into a giveaway. It's currently white box <clears throat> right now. It's in concept. Uh, we're not quite sure exactly when actual official flyable is. Uh, of course, they're coordinating this with um, uh, Alien Week, which makes sense. And uh, like we like size wise, it's pretty good size. It's pretty, pretty good size right there. It's much bigger than I initially thought by looking at just the ship alone, like looking at it here and then looking at it there. You can actually like it, it looks a little bit smaller here in this pick. And then when you go to here, you're like, oh, wow, this is this is actually this is pretty beefy right here. So. There you go. There's the information. There's our ship talk here on the Gatak railing. Uh, I personally am giving this one a thumbs up. Uh, it looks like it'll be able to take some damage. And thank you so much, Mitch. Thanks for that, bro. Appreciate you, dudes. And uh, let's get us back to our show here, shall we?